You know, it's easy. You know, it's easy to focus on the wrong things at the right time. What do I mean by that? I mean focusing on things that are wrong, things that are going wrong, perceivably wrong. However, there are ways of looking at the wrong and making it right. It's all a matter of P O V in your acting career and your life. P O V point of view. Directors do that constantly. They're constantly being subjective and objective. Subjective, they internalize what they see, and they are objective to see the best frame, the best camera angle, the best lighting for that particular scene in the environment, and of course, the atmosphere. So, fellow actor and director, believe it or not, you are a director. You are the director of your own life. You have your own POV. You can back up and see the whole picture. Say, for instance, say, for example, you you failed an audition. Don't deny your feelings. You're feeling like crapola, aren't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're feeling bad about ourselves. However, back up. I don't care what kind of audition it is. Independent film, student film, community theater, commercial, whatever it may be. In order for you to have, in order for you to have clarity and and stability in your life with your own with your own camera you must back away and say hmm, how did I learn how did I grow from that experience what did I learn from because if you don't do that perceived POV that perceived failure will destroy you not trying to be dramatic it's just the truth now say for example you aced an audition they loved you they praised you and they wanted you back for a callback and it's the next day and you said absolutely positively I will be here guaranteed the next day someone new comes in while you are on your callback and they ace it and the director likes them a little bit more than you. Now it may, no, it may hurt. Oh, I was so close. Been there plenty of times. You know what you could do? POV, point of view. Watch the other actor or actress. Ask them questions if you're able to. Get to know them. And if that's impossible to do, you don't have time to establish rapport with them. Jot down notes later on after you leave the audition. How did they do this? What can I do to improve my own game? Or here's a third scene. You win the audition. You win that audition and you got the part. You're both excited and scared. So like being on a roller coaster. You, all of a sudden, you have a responsibility to back up and think about this just for a minute. Actor to actor, coach to actor. Think about this. You can relax to a certain degree because guess what? You got the part. Reroute doubt. Instead of saying doubt, say do. Instead of saying doubt, say do. Did this make sense today? I hope so. I hope you were blessed. And if you need a coach, look me up. DavidThompsonCoaching.co DavidThompsonCoaching.co Like, share, and subscribe. If you want to learn something new, I highly recommend Thompson Approach Mastermind for Actors. It is is my online course and I would like you to check it out. Just look below in the about section. I look forward to hearing from you and remember this, what's wrong is always available and so is what's right.